So in case you've missed it, the BB25 cast has finally been revealed. Now, I usually don't like to brag, but in recent years, I've become pretty darn good at sussing out who's gonna be a good Big Brother player versus who's gonna fail miserably. Last season, Taylor and Michael were my top predictions, and Todrick was my pick for that season that shall not be named. I think it takes a pretty specific type of charisma and a lot of self-awareness to actually make it far in this game. Typically, you can't judge that about a person by a five-minute interview, but today I'm sure as hell gonna try. I'm going to be going through every single contestant cast on BB25 this season and assessing how well I think they're gonna do at this game. Before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button below as I post feed clips and do live feed updates throughout the season, so make sure you're subscribed so you can stay tuned. Now, let's get started. First up on the list, we have America. Now, Miss America made it clear right off the bat that she is a huge super fan. She's not new to this, she's true to this. She's seen every season of the show and she knows exactly what strategy she's gonna use when she gets in there. So I wanna go into this playing the game that I personally love to watch. So I'm gonna be in here lying, backstabbing and blindsiding whoever I can whenever I get the chance. See, I love when people are not afraid to be the villain, and it sounds like she knows exactly what she signed up for. Next up, we have Blue. The spiciest diva walking the streets of New York. It's the spiciest diva walking the streets of New York. Oh, she is such a Gen Z, but she's fun, y'all. I think she's gonna be fun on the feeds. She just has that spark, you know, and even if she doesn't win, Hell, even if she does terribly, I think she's still gonna serve. Next up, we have Bowie, who is our lawyer from Australia. Now, Bowie says she's gonna try to lay low and take things one day at a time, but I don't know about all that. Bowie just does not seem like the type of woman who can like lay low. Like, I feel like that's not in her vocabulary for real. The biggest party girl in the house is DJ Bowie Jane. See, I think she's gonna be a little shit starter. Honestly, I could see her getting evicted kind of early, but if she does, I can see her also going down in a ball of flames and it being very entertaining for all of us. Next up, we have Cameron. Oh boy. Cameron is uh, interesting. Cameron is another self-proclaimed super fan who seems to take Big Brother very, very personally. Julie Chan Moonves, oh, my first crush. She put me to bed three nights a week, Julie. It's incredible. I can't wait to meet her, honestly. Not, not too soon. Jesus. Um, I can't wait to meet her. Um. Yikes. I don't know if this guy is like a big brother super fan or more of just a simp for Julie. The fact that I saw Julie Jin like three nights a week at the bare minimum. To think... Um, it's just really cool, man. Cameron says his strategy is to stay in the middle, which is always a red flag to me because the middle is often the most dangerous place to play in this game, which you would know if you were a real super fan, but, but hey, what do I know? Cameron might surprise us all and turn out to win this whole thing. Next up, we have Corey, who is not only another super fan of the show, he's also the younger brother of Survivor 42 contestant, Zach. I can see Corey being somebody who is super social, super entertaining, and he is definitely gonna give good DR. I'm gonna win this game because I'm simply built for it. 5'7", 140 pounds, face nine, body six, IQ through the roof. Yeah, I could definitely see Corey narrating most of the competitions and I can see the game getting kind of lame once he leaves. I don't know, what do you guys think? And next up we have Felicia who is technically the oldest contestant this season, but she's not gonna let that hold her back. Felicia is someone who seems very sure of herself socially. She knows that her age may play a factor in the game, but she plans to play around that and adjust herself accordingly. I don't know if right off the bat, I'm going to tell them that I'm 63 years old. Now they'll be able to guess that I'm somewhere around 50, maybe 55, but they won't believe that I'm 63. And I may not tell them that because they might really look at that as, we can't let this old person stay in here. And I also may not tell them I'm retired twice because they might decide, 
we can't let her win because she she got two retirement checks. She also seems freaking hilarious, by the way. And if she plays her cards right, I'm telling y'all, I can see Felicia easily making it very, very far into this game. Next up, we have Hassam, who is a doctor from Seattle. At first glance, Hassam, of course, seems super smart and charismatic, and he even has a game plan. But I am getting a little bit concerned because this game plan is just way too specific. So my strategy for the Big Brother game is to find someone who's conscientious and agreeable to be my ride or die. I want them to be someone who is good at keeping their emotions in check and someone who's intelligent and sort of man maneuvering strategically. Then the two of us will sort of maneuver to create two factioning groups uh, that basically get split while we sort of live in the middle. Uh, and then are able to sway the vote based upon the dynamics of what is happening. Like, literally, good luck with that. Look, I know Hassam looks like the perfect candidate on paper, right? But if the others are able to sniff out his threat level, it might not look too good for him. We shall see though, good luck to you. Up next we have Izzy, who is our flute player from New York City. Now Izzy definitely seemed to be the most introverted out of the group. They weren't really giving me too much in their interview, but still that might not necessarily be a bad thing. I guess I could either see Izzy being one of the first people to go and being one of the first boots or maybe even making it to the final three. But I don't think there's gonna be an in-between. I think it's gonna be one of two extremes for Izzy. How about that? And next up we have Jag. Now, Jag is not only the first Seek House guest to ever be cast on Big Brother, but he's also quite the snazzy dresser, if I do say so myself. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Jag is probably my favorite player and is probably going to be my number one winner pick for this season, at least so far. He just oozes charisma when he speaks. He knows the game well. He has a solid plan. I feel like at the end of the day, this is a game. And everyone that is a house guest knows it's a game. So... You know, we're going to get blood on our hands and, you know, I'm willing to do what it takes to, to go to the end. But obviously there's going to be lying. There's going to be deception. Uh, there's going to be backdooring. All of that is natural for a game of Big Brother. And it's something that I've just come to terms with. It's giving winner. It's giving boss bitch, honestly. It's giving boss bitch. Boss bitch. It's giving boss bitch. Next on the list is Jared Fields. Now, Jared is the literal son of literal Survivor legend, Suri Fields. Like, hello? He's even been featured on Survivor and everything. He's like reality TV Nepo baby royalty. Now, Jared, based on who his mama is, he's gonna have some big shoes to fill, okay? We're gonna be expecting a lot from him. He's not planning on telling anybody who his mom is, which is the logical move to make. I don't know, overall, I'm just excited to see how he's gonna play the game. Next up, we have Kirsten, who is a biologist. I think Kirsten's fun. She's giving me like femme fatale a little bit. I mean, it looks like Kirsten's gonna have the total package right. I mean, she's smart, she's confident. She's coming in with a solid strategy to be in the biggest alliance and kind of work her way in from there. She also wants to do things like lie about her career to lower her threat level as much as she can. You know, all the good positives. If she can truly stick to it, I can see Kirsten doing pretty well in this game. Next up, we have Luke, who is a Florida boy and self-described himbo. So my strategy going into the Big Brother game is to be the friendly guy, the lovable guy. You know, maybe I'm a little dense. Maybe I'm a bit of a himbo. But behind that persona, there's a bit of cunning. There's a bit of planning. There's, there's something going in there. My first impression of Luke was that he looks kind of douchey sorry i mean it's just like something about his face that just seems so untrustworthy you know in reality he may be a total sweetie but that face is kind of giving me first boot energy not gonna lie i wouldn't be surprised if mr luke found himself in the pre-jury but we shall see where the cards fall next up we have matt who is by the way a gold medal winning olympic athlete like hello and like he's won a crap ton of medals too it wasn't just like a couple times like he does this matt is also deaf i'm not sure if he's partially or fully but either way it could present itself to be a challenge in a game like this where nuanced communication is just so important but Matt does say that he's really good at reading lips and let's just be honest, he's probably gonna be the most fit one out there. He didn't seem to know too, too much about the show itself though. So we'll just have to see how he navigates through all the social and strategic stuff. Either way, good luck to you, Matt. 
Next up, we have McCole, a political consultant who is not afraid of getting blood on her hands. In fact, I think she may be the villain that we love to root for this season. I'm gonna play this game like a politician. I'm gonna shake your hand, I'm gonna kiss your baby, I'm gonna smile on your face, and when you least expect it, I'm gonna stab you in the back and take all your money. I mean, Miss Ma works in politics, so she's already used to the lying to the masses and the manipulating other people and bringing them down for money and greed. So she should fit right in in the Big Brother house. Good luck to you, girl. Next up, we have Red. Now, Red is interesting because for such a unique looking dude, his interviews were kind of mad, to be honest. He said he used to watch old school Big Brother like way back in the day, but he's not really up to date with the current seasons, which is a little bit concerning. I don't know if Red fully understands what he signed up for or if he like fully understands what's going to be coming to him. But hey, best of luck to you, my dude. And last but not least, we have Riley. Honestly, I didn't get too much strategic talk from her interviews. She's really just giving like quirky. You know, I definitely am kind of all over the place. I'm a natural born spaz. Um, and I just think it's, I mean, my life in general, I, I feel like I should have my own TV show sometimes because I'm just, everything is all over the place and crazy, but <laughs> it's going to be great. Now you guys get to watch. <laughs> I just don't know, girly. Usually being all over the place is not good in a game like this. I'm telling you. Look, I don't know if Riley has what it takes to win this season or even do well, but you know what? I do think she's going to be fun on the feeds. There's never going to be a dull moment with this one. I'm telling you. And that is it. That is all 16 of our BB25 house guests. We definitely have an eclectic bunch this year. Most people look like they have big, strong personalities, which is always good, of course, and makes for chaotic gameplay and great feeds. I think my top players going into the season based on just the first impressions are going to be Felicia and Jag. And my bottom players, again, just based on first impressions alone, are Luke and Bowie. Sorry guys. One thing I'm absolutely loving about the casting this season is that it seemed like they really took the time to add more age diversity into the game. The average age of contestants this season is 32 and it's usually somewhere around 27. Hopefully now we get less of that like corny summer camp showman stuff and more like actual strategy and gameplay on the actual live show. Of course, I'm interested to know what do you all think of our cast this season? Who are some of your winner picks and who do you think might crash and burn this season? Let me know in the comments below. Words cannot describe how freaking excited I am for this season to start, y'all. It's been like over a year since we've had a real actual season of Big Brother. Once again, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not already, just so you can stay up to date on live feeds and other wonderful news as we head into this Big Brother season. I cannot wait to start updating y'all on the craziness that goes on in this house, but until then, bye.